Okay, in this video, I will show you how to record drums. So again, we click the plus button and we go to the green MIDI instruments. But this time we want to select a drum kit. Use the plus, the play button to have a listen and pick out a kit that you like. Once you've found a kit that you like, hard rock sounds nice. I'm going to select that once, it will add it to my cloud and then select it a second time to bring up the drum kit in the project. And here's the drum kit, you can have a play. Um, so those bottom three are the main ones, the kick, snare and hi-hats. It's a bit tricky to do both at the same time. So I'm gonna recommend doing kick and snare on the first track and then adding hi-hats later. So go and set your tempo. This time I'm actually tapping to set my tempo, kind of tapping the rhythm that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna to go to my counting again, choose a one bar counting. Um, Turn on my metronome, there's the green button at the bottom right, um, and then I can hit play and have a practice. This is a very basic beat here, like a level three basic rhythm, just every note is on the beat, on the metronome. For a higher level, I need to use syncopation, so try and play some of your notes in between the beats, okay, off beat. So here's an example of a syncopated rhythm, uh, which will get you a higher level. practice, once you're happy with the rhythm you've got, then you can get ready to record. So I want to go back to the beginning, I want to click on the green cue and the cue and make it green so that's going to help my part stay in time. And then hit record when you're ready and record your two bar rhythm. And that's done. You can close that by clicking the arrow next to the cue. Then click in the screen to drag it to the beginning and play and have a listen to it. At the top, there's this little red uh, red part. If I click on it, it makes it bold. And then I extend it. This is the loop function. So you extend that around your part that you've recorded. And when you hit play, it will loop what you have recorded. I also take off the metronome if I'm listening back to music. You only need the metronome on when you're recording. So next we're going to add the hi-hats by clicking on that plus button underneath the drums. Um, I'm going to click on my cloud this time as I want to use the same drum kit. My hard work kit is there. So I've clicked on that plus sign. I've got my same drum kit. And then I can record my hi-hats separately. Uh, press play, have a practice, work out what you're going to do. Um, next to the hi-hat, there's the open hi-hats to make a more advanced rhythm. And once you're happy, uh, maybe take off the loop, hit the cue to make sure it's in time, and then record your hi-hats. And just like that, you're done. So let's take off the metronome, let's put the loop back on and listen to our two bar rhythm using kick, snare and hi-hats and it's syncopated.